Camtasia, OBS Studio. If you're looking for a video editor, screen recorder, a double up, whatever it is, you're in the right place. I'm going to explore both of their features as well as their drawbacks and see which one is actually the better option. So let's get into it. So let us jump into Camtasia. So Camtasia combines screen recording and editing in one platform, making it ideal for creating tutorials, training videos, and even webinars. It's an all-in-one tool and their approach simplifies the workflow for educators as well as business users. Users can also seamlessly replace backgrounds with the chroma key functionality enabling a more polished professional looking video and this is perfect for presentations or creating video projects. You can add quizzes, clickable links and hotspots to your videos to make them more engaging and interactive. The feature is particularly useful for e-learning and training purposes. Camtasia also offers pre-designed templates, themes and presets to streamline video creation. It makes it a really beginner friendly tool while speeding up the editing process. The software provides built in tools to adjust audio levels, remove background noise and even sync audio with your visuals, ensuring professional sound quality. Camtasia's user friendly interface is also designed for more non professionals, allowing even beginners to create polished videos effortlessly. One or two of their drawbacks, however, is uh, for professionals, Camtasia lacks advanced editing tools like 3D effects or even Hollywood grade color grading, which might kind of restrict your creativity and flexibility slightly. Also, Camtasia comes with a hefty one-time price, which might not be feasible for casual users or anybody that's doing video editing more as a hobby. All right, we're jumping into OBS now. And honestly, OBS is probably one of my favorite tools to use, like it's amazing. So um, it's completely free, first of all, making it accessible for anybody that's on a budget. Being open source, it also allows for community driven plugin development, which is fantastic. You can set up multiple scenes with different layouts, including overlays, screen captures, live camera feeds, and a whole bunch more. This is really ideal for streamers and presenters. OBS Studio is built for live streaming to platforms like Twitch, YouTube, Facebook Live, it offers high quality broadcast settings and you can set all of these individual platforms up within OBS, which is fantastic. So you can go ahead and just set it up and all you need to do is push start stream every single time you want to stream and it's already set up. Also, um, you can control your audio levels for multiple sources in real time. It supports uh, filters like noise suppression gain adjustment, and a whole bunch more. Trust me, it's amazing. OBS Studio is also compatible with Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, making it versatile for pretty much every type of user. You can also leverage community-created plugins, as I mentioned earlier on, to expand OBS's capabilities from advanced transitions to productivity-boosting tools. One or two of the drawbacks, it may come as a surprise, but they have no editing tools. So, OBS kind of lacks that built-in editing functionality, so you will need separate software to polish off your recordings. That is kind of the only one thing that I can really think of. Otherwise, OBS is amazing. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, both of the software that we just reviewed now are amazing. They both have fantastic features. They both appeal to different groups of people. And the takeaway here really is to figure out which group you fit into and which software you would be using. If this was enjoyable, drop us a like. We'll see you next time.